Yo, well, welcome back to the channel guys. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's Oscar and we're back again with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about trying to rebuild, uh, how would I say it? Trying to rebuild like basically historical chipsets or chipsets from back in the day that um, maybe somebody doesn't know really that much about or uh, how would I say it? Chipsets that chips that chipsets that were basically apart or or together at one point that obviously haven't been together for years and uh, just the journey and uh, the I guess the struggle of finding the chips and, and all that. So why don't we just get right into it? I'm not gonna make this a long one, but uh, short. Uh, long story short, I guess, um, there's a chipset that I'm currently working on that I've been working on probably, what, four months? Four or five months or something like that. Initially, I ended up getting a pretty big part of that uh, chipset from uh, one person on PCF, and then um, I've slowly been trying to get the other pieces. Maybe one chip there, one chip there, maybe 10 chips there, 20 chips there, 20 chips there. It's gonna be a long, long uh, project, primarily because uh, the, I guess the, the, the chip and the order card. There was only like a thousand of the ones made, 200 of the 25, and was it 700 or something of the fives? Um, and the, basically I want to build a one five, 25 cent. Obviously the three chips that were used, um, but the thing is, chips are pretty hard to find. And you know, one might pop up there, one might pop up here. They're not really found in quantity, which makes it pretty hard, but that also makes the hunt for finding those chips that much more uh, enjoyable. I guess we could say every time I see one or or every time I see a few of them together, I always get really excited. I really want to win them. There's, uh, I guess the majority of the time so far, I've been had, I've, I've been having good luck. So um, that's a pretty good thing. Now, the same thing goes for, uh, how would I say, people that have spent years, I know one of my friends on PCF, Matt, he spent probably, what, seven years building a Nevada Club, Nevada Lodge set, and I think it was just this year he actually finished it. He got the last 25 and finished that set. Um, I know there's tons of people that have spent years trying to build uh, impressive chip sets and, and, you know, finding a rack or finding uh, a one or two racks of this certain chip. It takes a long time for some of these guys to build uh, their chipsets, which I think it's really enjoyable. It makes for a good story. When you get to play with your chips, it just makes it that much better. And I actually had an interesting talk uh, the other day with um, someone about how they've kind of seen the, I guess, the, the chip collecting community going more towards sets and not as much, uh, not as much singles. Um, I myself have seen that too. I don't know if it's a generational thing or maybe there's just a different a different mindset as to how collecting is nowadays because I know a great people of the number or the a great number of people that I talk to on a daily basis those guys are all collecting for sets now sure they might collect um, a single here and there but it's primarily sets and I think like I've mentioned it in, in my one of my past videos that I've kind of done the same thing although I do still collect singles um, if they come up at the right price and it's something that I don't have already um, and it's something that I'd like to add to my collection. So there's kind of a, uh, a, a kind of a, like a divide. So uh, one primary uh, chip, I guess we could say, this Nevada Club 5 Fallon. I just recently got this the other day from uh, Andy Hughes actually. So big thank you to him for this chip. Um, and then like another example I guess we could do are these um, or like some of these Irish Rose Tavern chips that I got from one of my very, very good friends, um, Emilio. I mean, these are chips that I didn't have. I knew about the $20 just because I had seen it in person before and it's really nice looking chip. Next thing you know, I got a text message one day and he sent me the whole, like sent me a picture of the one, or the 25, one, five, and 20 in one picture. And I was kind of like, wow. Wow. I gotta get those. So I do see myself more so as like a, I guess we could say a set collector, but you guys know I have kind of all these kind of little obscure TRKs here and there. Um, if there's something that I don't have and it's a good price and it's really unique, 
and I like the way it looks. I'm a singles collector in that moment. So that is kind of the spiel of today's video, I guess. I don't want to make it too long. I hope it's not too long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys kind of have similar thoughts or maybe have seen um, people building their chipsets over the years or have seen that kind of rotation or I guess movement of more chip collectors being set collectors and uh, not so much on the single side, but it's an interesting thing to think about. Um, I do know there are still quite a few people buying singles here and there, so that's great. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. If you have any comments, put those down below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.